Hello everyone. Welcome to the next episode of Let's Design, Episode 4, Part 2. Today I am going to teach you how to render fabrics. To start with our first fabric, denims. You all have seen denims. There are very minute lines on the fabric. They are either diagonal or they are straight. To start denims, we need an empty refill pen. This is the pen I am using here. It has no refill. You have to prepare very minute diagonal lines on the fabric you want to show denim. Prepare very close lines on the piece of fabric. Okay. To give texture for denims, I use Stedler. As you can see, Stedlers are the most water soluble, good sol water soluble pencils available. To create it, it's very easy. You can see I'm moving my pencil diagonally and I'm not moving straight onto the piece of paper. And you can see those lines which we have prepared with the empty refill are coming out. So the only technique you have to use to render it, to color it is just go with the fabric is moving. How the fabric is moving, how the body is moving. Now prepare all the color texture evenly everywhere. Now as you can see my leg is slightly sideward. So you can see the side seam. Here you are not able to see the side seam. So I'm preparing the color properly. Now, that's the belt and that's the zipper area. You can clearly see the lines coming out. Okay. I'm rendering it properly everywhere. See how beautiful the lines are coming. You don't have to move your hands straight. Thighs are a bit round. So prepare the round, prepare the, that round shape. Then take a piece of tissue. Tissue, this is soft tissue. You have to use it to smudge the sheet as we've done earlier also. Now smudge it, mix it so that the color spread evenly. Now see how beautiful. Yes. Now take one step darker tone, prepare the belt, try to work on the corners and try to give the curves, the crotch area. And now also prepare the button area on the denims. Yes. Now I'm preparing western pockets here. Western pockets are very common. The pockets which you generally see on denims are western pockets. Yes. This is how you have to do. You don't have to render it all over. Aapko pura color nahi karna hai. Try to do it unevenly. Like in some areas. So that you can get those, that mixtured look. Mixed color. Okay. Yes. See, when you wear clothes, na, it's never the same. Now, I am using Black Stedler. Black Stedler is one of my favorites because it completes my design. We take this to give shadows. Like, whenever you wear clothes, you definitely have shadow over one or the other thing. So shadow is the one thing that completes your design, yeah? it completes your sketch. Without shadow, it will not look 
as if you are wearing that garment. So make sure you give shadows. Some people in some videos try to give shadows with the same or with the one step darker tone. But I generally give it with black color because in my opinion, shadow is always black. And yes, so I give black. Okay, I am giving <laughs> striped lines on the denim because I find it very trendy whenever I see and uh, it's one of my favorite colors also. So I'm giving red striped pants, denim pants here. Yes. Okay, the completion is just not with the shadows. To complete the design, the Generally, hard denims have top stitch. So we complete the design by giving the details with this red gel pen for showing the top stitch. All right, now to start with my top, I am giving red satin top here. Satin is one of the richest fabrics around the globe and it has very beautiful that silky soft fall so I really like that about it it's very rich so I'm giving a red strap noodle strap top here of satin fabric for that I have used brush pens this is Stedler again I'm using here to give the shadows to give the final touch for the top can you see the cowls which I'm going to give here that fall, that soft look. That comes with Stedless. That's again shadow I am giving. For embellishment, I'm using Uniball pen, golden pen here to give long golden chains. Now to start with our second sketch, I am using leopard print here so leopard print there are a lot of leopard prints are here i am using yellow ochre water tube colors over here to give the base color i am using water tube colors artistic water tube colors to give any print you have to give base so i am giving base color over here for leopard print Corners have to be a bit darker than any medium because uh, that gives that uh, natural shadow look. Yeah, that's a V neckline with back zipper I have given. That's a deep V with back concealed zip. Yes, smudge it properly, evenly. Yeah. I have given fringes at the bottom. You will be able to see it clearly when the sketch is complete. Fringes are basically those threads coming out in your stole or anything that will to be used to take it at night. So fringes. Now take one darker sketch pen and prepare some uneven shapes. Round, not round exactly, just give shapes. That leopard shape, leopard print, uh, the shapes that have uh, leopard on it. Yeah, like this. This is how we have to fill it with small, big sizes, uneven sizes. Now take a darker tone of sketch pen, brown sketch pen. One step darker tone that we have used earlier. Now circle it from one side. You don't have to take the all sides. You have to take circle it from the one side. So that proper leopard print can be seen. And you can see the lights, the dark tone, the light tone. Every tone you can see very, very clearly. So that is how we 
basically show any animal print to show any animal print any animal means any animal you have to start with the base color first whatever the base color is first of all base color kijiye aap uske upar aapka jo bhi print nazar aa raha ho whatever print is there try to give that print on top and then use the different tones you can actually see see from the print from the paper from anywhere you've taken inspiration from this is how we are going to complete it last again my favorite shadows i'm giving shadow at the zipper area the armhole area the hip area on the generally on generally on the sides because it, it's coming out very nicely even though yeah i have used black pen now to complete i'm giving it uh, at some places just to give a fine touch yes this is leopard print deep v back zip fringed skirt dress okay now here i'm preparing one of the cocktail dresses and i'm using brush pens over here these are easily available in the market these are camlin brush pens i have used sweetheart neckline and uh, i am preparing the color given waist yoke can you see my hand is moving round for bust it's not going straight i have divided it into parts and same way you have to do it if you want the perfect look just leave some white spaces to give that natural look yes there was a drape there was sarong drape skirt beneath but don't worry whenever you have to give transparency we are going to use net over here so this is neck band collar i'm using and to give net wherever i want to give is i'm using stedler water soluble pencils again taking black stedler and i'm covering that area with black stedler yeah now smudge it take some tissue and yeah that's a drape we were talking about earlier agar aapko lagta hai ki we cannot see the drape you will be able to now use tissue rub it yeah now take white pen stedler first and then prepare some lines on black because okay i was talking about shadow earlier so there is a surprise whenever we talk about shadow if there is any light color shadow comes with black if there are dark colors like black blue shadow comes with white now i am giving final touches with black, white pen this is again uniball white pen i'm using here to give the transparency i have given the base with white stedler then to give the final lines i am giving shadows with white pen the details that princess line effect i am using white pen i have given white dots on net black dots yeah now skin color is always after afterwards wherever you have to use transparency generally i have done skin color before where you can see the skin clearly but whenever you will you are not able to see the skin clearly try to give the color first the fabric color and then the skin color to give the best results now you can see the transparency can you see that i'm using black pen to give some rubber print effect on net that suits in dresses like these
same I'm using on the drape. This is how you give net effect or any transparent fabric you want to give. We generally use staedtlers to give transparencies. There are a lot of transparent fabrics available. I'm giving final touches that gathers look yeah, on the net that to give the final touches. I'm giving now the final touches with my black gel pen. That's quite cheap and available in every shop, every stationery shop, you can easily find it. Now, start with another topic and here I'm using a jumpsuit. Now jumpsuit is one of my again favorites. I'm using neon orange color to give it a vibrant look yeah i really found this dress to be very very sexy you just have to follow your hand just move as the body is moving Yes, I am actually happy with this color. Now green color for the band. I'm using bottle green color for the band. I love orange and green. Now here in this IMV, I've been using print as abstract print there are a lot of abstract prints available in the mark uh, in the on internet and everywhere you can see so you can use anything only thing you have to use a base color then use your micro tip and other colored pens so i am using abstract print over here watch carefully Now I'm using green pen to give another color. Abstract prints are generally in lot of colors. Uh, the best abstract print I can find in African prints. African prints, I really admire African prints. They're very beautiful and very trendy too. They generally use very vibrant colors. So to complete it with, I am going to use lines and fringes fringes we have used in our leopard print dress also so I'm going to use fringes in my jumpsuit as well yes I'm going to attach my fringes with my shorts watch closely now Yes, this is how I'm going to attach my fringes. These are the threads coming out from that abstract print work. You can show anything you want. I am using prints here. So I'm going to attach threads. I'm going to stitch that particular thread piece, that fringes. Now we have to start with another dress that's a blue velvet cowled dress it's a backless dress 
Another dress would be, and I am using here my blue watercolors. Yeah. I am using checks here to give the base color. I am using Stedler. Yes. And before that, I have drawn few lines. Lines which give a formation. There's a checks. So to prepare checks, I've used my lead pencil. And these checks should be even. There shouldn't be uh, differences in lines and gaps. Yes. With a beautiful corset, a yellow corset. For checks again, and I have to use a base color. So I'm using yellow stedler. Now smudging it with water only on my brush to smudge that stedler thing. I already told you these stedlers are water soluble pencils. So the matter you try to run it, run water on those pencils, you get the exact effect. Yeah. Now I am using brush pens to give the thicker line. There is a process of checks. You have to watch the checks very closely. The kind of checks I am using here is that gives a broad line of yellow. Again, you, you can see I have not given any straight line except the last one. Yeah. Now observe my hand very closely how I am preparing checks. Okay, now take another pen. A pink pen, I should rather like. I'm using brush pen for my yellow corset. I was talking about pink sketch pen. Now earlier we've used brush pens and now I'm using sketch pen. Take thin sketch pen to give a thin line. You can use pens also of any choice. Like if you're using a blue sketch pen for a thicker line and you want to give lines with blue itself so you can use a blue pen as well. I'm using contrasting colors here. So I have used a broader line of yellow with brush pens and now I'm using thin sketch pen for the outer lines. My, my second line formation. I hope you will be able to understand what I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to use as simple as possible so that maximum of you can learn it. Now again shadows. I am using a brush for shadows. Without shadows, a garment doesn't look like if we are wearing it. One leg is out and when you stretch a fabric, it gives stretchness, it gives you falls. So try to observe how I am giving falls right now. I'm, I have taken blue sketch pin to give a one more middle line.
shadows. Can you see how beautiful it looks? It looks like a person is actually wearing it. That is sketching all about. That's that's one thing which illustrator should keep in mind. A sketch is not complete until it looks like it's walking. You you are actually wearing it. Next, we are going to do after giving the final touch over here. My next dress, I'm going to tell you how to give organza. Again, one of the fabrics for transparencies. I am using Fuji colors, paper Fuji colors that are easily available in the market. To give transparency, I have told you, you have to give the base color first of all. Uh, you can give it with Stedler also if you're not comfortable with the, the other color medium. That's water base. And if you're not good with water base, you can give it with Stedler and then smudge it with water or with um, uh, this uh, tissue I have told you earlier. Only thing you have to keep in mind, the transparency which we have to give after this. Okay, that the skin color which we are talking here. That's the base part. That gives the actual transparency look. I'm using violet color. And I'm going to embellish it. I'm going to decorate it with a few studs, few uh, silver sequences and silver embellished material. So again, I have to give a base material, base uh, fabric, base color. When we have to embellish something, use decorative material use karna hota hai, kisi bhi dress ke upar. That's a party dress. And we can't do much hodgepodge. We cannot make it too sassy. Yeah, I have used frills at the bottom. That's layers. You can see. I'm giving shadows with white color here. Because I told you on dark colors, we give shadows with white. And on light colors, other than white, we use black. Give shadows. Now I'm using silver uniball pen to give that embellished look, embellished work. Embellished material can be anything if you want to show sequence. If you want to show some stone work, if you want to show some embroidery. So that's only thing you have to keep in mind, whatever you're drawing, whatever you're showing, you have to explain it. Illustration is one medium that that's how you show your mind onto paper. But you have to write your mind onto paper as well, whatever you've done. Giving a clean edges with my black gel pen simple cost effective material I'm using here that's it I hope you liked everything and you understood everything thanks for watching